It was someone who made music both a weapon against apartheid but also as a mechanism, you know, to help South Africans cope uh, with its in injustices. So says uh, former Deputy President Pumzile Mlambunguga after the passing of Afro-Jazz legend Brahim Masekela. The late trumpeter was a regular visitor to the United States and in one of his final shows there was among a star-studded lineup to perform during the International Jazz Day concert hosted at the White House. It's a great honor to introduce a man who, in, in a six-decade career, has used his instrument to create songs of protest that gave voice to an entire nation. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Yu Masakela. Introduced by Sting, performing the iconic Bring Him Back Home, and hosted by former President Barack and First Lady Michelle Obama. I want to see you. He was a legend, someone who made music both a weapon to fight apartheid, but also a mechanism to help us cope as South Africans, because we enjoyed and we loved his music. We will also remember him as a role model for many musicians that came after him, who embraced both the art and purpose and the fight for a better South Africa. Brayu was a regular in the Big Apple, seen here performing alongside Stevie Wonder at the inaugural International Jazz Day concert in the UN General Assembly in 2012. And then in 2014, when he visited to celebrate South Africa's 20th anniversary of political freedom and this performance at Carnegie Hall. I also sat down with Brayu when he celebrated his 75th birthday in New York. We're lucky that we had so much solidarity and that music was a catalyst, but sometimes people think that like uh, activism against injustice is uh, um, uh, the, the, the work of maybe liberation movements and artists, but it's the work of everybody. And again, you know, it was the people who freed us in South Africa because without them, all the music and uh, all the liberation movement moves didn't mean anything. It was the people who made South Africa ungovernable. Simon Rentner is the host and producer of The Checkout on New York's jazz public radio WBGO and the organizer of last year's Jazzy Pistols reunion with Abdullah Ibrahim that saw Brayu pull out after suffering a fall during a performance in Morocco. It was going to be an absolutely historic reunion because, in my estimation, it was one of the most important jazz bands of the 20th century, and getting these two icons in music in the world, not just South Africa, together again for the first time in 50 years, we were this close. But yes, uh, you know, life gets in the way sometimes. He says he was shocked by the news of Masakela's passing, but that his legacy is unequivocal. I know Hugh Masekela would want the world to know that jazz was African first, not African-American, but African with the emphasis on African, which was contrary to American belief and opinion. And the more that I learn about the music jazz, I tend to agree with him. It, jazz is African, and Americans should reframe our way of thinking about this. He was loved around the world. He never stopped talking about his love for South Africa. We will know that when he came to play here in New York, so many friends came to listen to him, people he went to school with, people he played with, and there was always a party with a purpose. I asked her what Brayu's main lesson to us would be so soon after the passing of Professor Keora Pizzi Hosicile. We should embrace excellence. We should shy away from mediocrity. These giants represent the best of who we can be as South Africans. And this personal anecdote to a life well lived. Nobody would give me a gig. And I came up with uh, uh, the hybrid that I came up with, which is like really based on like traditional South African uh, uh, big band dance music and, 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 uh, and uh, uh, heritage uh, music. And it, it, it caught on. 
And I've been very fortunate. I've seen the whole world. I've been able to make a living at what I do. And I've been able to make a living talking about the people I come from, you know, and the legacy they gave me. Because the music I play, I couldn't be able to play. If I came from Japan, I probably would be a sushi chef. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Sherman Bricepie's SABC News, New York. Well, legend must.